I was just finishing off a master's degree, contemplating what to do next. A little light bulb that went on in my brain at the time, saying, this is what I'm going to do. Why not drive around the world? And then I thought, I don't want to go alone. Who would I go with? I had nothing to hold me back. I couldn't think of any excuse not to go, and so we went, and of course, it was one of the greatest things I've ever done. Think of the 50s. First World War, Second World War is all past. The world then was quite peaceful. And so we thought, well, let's get it while the going was good. Bristol and I sat down one afternoon, I remember, with a school atlas, and we just roughly traced where we would go, and we actually went there. Just looking at the roads, a bit of what we're going to have to go through, I thought, well, it had to be a Land Rover. We set out in July 1957. I got there earlier to uh, get the Land Rover, which was a pilcher's body on a long wheelbase. That's our home for the next year. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's a pretty splendid home away from home with the built-in beds and a place to put the stove to cook. So uh, this was sheer luxury. When we think of that time, memories flood through my mind. Feeling of surprise, feeling of awe around every corner the whole trip, it was different. Things were always changing. Bristol did all of the driving, and I was painting little images that symbolized the different countries around the world. And I really enjoyed painting people. Curiosity is the main driving force, I think, for a trip like this. And love of nature, and love of geography, love of people. Both of us were tuned in and keyed in. Bristol with his filming, and me with my artwork and drawing. And so we were conscious of being in the now and in the present. We had trials that we had to conquer. Times were really startled. There was never a thought of turning back, never, absolutely. was, uh, in my case, and probably yours, one of the greatest senses of freedom I think we've ever had. Definitely. Can't imagine how the world will look in another 70 years, but have a try.